Sometimes you just need a good red no matter what color you have on. Mac, Ruby Woo. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is a very special day because this is our final episode of Before the Gray and After. Um, I have today seven <laughs> gorgeous ladies that I wanna present to you guys. Um, they, you know, I love the transformation. There are some that you'll get a chance to see where it's more of a gradual, um, transition and you know a lot like um, the ladies before where you'll see before pictures and you'll see after pictures so um, look thank you guys so much it has been such a positive reaction to showcasing these ladies on the channel um, thank you so much for submitting photos um, I just really appreciate it um, big thanks to those ladies because you know, it, it does, it really does take courage to step out and to do something that society probably deems as not a good thing to do. <laughs> so they give us all these different alternatives as far as, you know, coloring and this, that, and the other. But, you know, I, I think we're at, a, at an age, um, some of us, or just some of us at a maturity level, because there are a lot of young women out there that are graying where we just deciding to take back that control when it comes to what we view as beautiful. And I think <laughs> that they are all stunning. Absolutely. It's beautiful. been an amazing journey putting together the segments because it's like I'm seeing it. It's just an amazing transformation um from you know where you're constantly color treating trying to cover something uh that you think is not good for you and then when you finally submit it's like there's this just glow just a vibrant glow to these women so i applaud them and i thank them for giving me the opportunity um to present them to you guys so you could see this. So it's it's been great. It really has been. I am so sorry today there is no wine. Um, I am just getting over some crazy stuff. I had flu, sinus infection, and all this stuff going on. So it's just been sick. <laughs> so um, I am just upping my fluid levels, but the next video, we'll come back with wine piece so you guys can see that. So it's not to say that we won't do these again. So, you know, by all means, if you're interested in having your pictures um, showcased, um, I will possibly bring back the um, segment um, in a couple months or so, um, if you guys are interested. Just let me know in the comment section below. And um, so let's go ahead and get with Before the Gray and After. Okay guys, so first up we have Rhonda. Now Rhonda decided to transition from relaxed to natural hair. That was pretty much her first transition. So she decided to take it one step further and transition from color treated hair to gray hair. Wow, Rhonda, absolutely incredible how beautiful your hair is. And guys, we can really see that transformation from that 2016 shot up to this 2018 shot. And you can see she still has bits of color at the tips. This is Rhonda now. Absolutely gorgeous, Rhonda. Thank you so much for sharing your photos. Up next is Bola. Now, Bola experienced premature gray at the ripe old age of 12 years old. 
Wow. Now that is, that's something. Uh, but Bola decided, you know, in her 20s that she was going to color her gray. She didn't want to go around with gray streaks in her hair, which is understandable. So in 2019, Bola decided that she was going to stop dyeing her hair. And a lot of that was due to breakage and, you know, just outright tired of the process of coloring. Guys, this is Bola now. Wow, Bola, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it because it looks so edgy and it just fits you. It is gorgeous on you. All right, guys, this is Bola's before and her after. Thank you so much, Bola, for sharing your photos. Okay guys, meet Antoinette. Now Antoinette shared with me that she knew right away that she was gonna keep every strand of her gray hair and had no intentions of coloring. Why? Because she absolutely loved how her silver hair accented her pigmented hair. So guys, this is Antoinette. This is absolutely beautiful. She looks so regal. Thank you so much, Antoinette, for sharing your photos with us. Okay, guys, this is Roz. Now, last year, Roz decided to embrace her gray hair. She cut out the remaining color and to, to just show all of her gray hair. Now, Roz did share with me that when she's indoors and just around and about, you know, her hair just looks, you know, just like a dark brown or black. But when she's in the natural light out in the sun, she says that it just illuminates. Guys, this is Roz in natural light. Wow, thanks so much, Roz. Absolutely beautiful transformation. Thank you so much for sharing your photos with us. All right, guys, meet Lucretia. Now, Lucretia, to me, is AKA big hair don't care. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful head of hair. Now, Lucretia decided to go ahead and embrace her gray hair journey as well. Now, she, like so many of us, it was very daunting just to try to make the decision as to whether or not she wanted to embrace it. But she went ahead and decided to go with it. Now, Lucretia has an amazing silver halo, and I think that she is loving it. Lucretia says, we Silver Sisters are embracing what God has given us and that we are no longer the minority, we are the majority. This sister is fierce and gorgeous. Thank you so much, Lucretia, for sharing your photos with us. Hey guys, meet Shari. Shari started her gray, started graying in her 20s and she says that her gray is hereditary, uh, mainly on her dad's side. Uh, she's been coloring her hair for about 19 years. Uh, for Cherie, she said that frequent coloring, um, it just became too much for her. So in February of 2018, she decided that she was done. She says next to going natural, ditching the dye was the most liberating thing she's done. Guys, this 
is Sherry. This is a beautiful transformation. I love how her locks look with that gray coming through. Thank you so much, Sherry, for sharing your photos. All right, guys, last on the list is Charlotte. Guys, Charlotte started her journey at the age of 50, and now at 55, she has definitely discovered her mantra. And that mantra is, the decision, the process, my crown. Charlotte, it is beautiful. And thank you so much for sharing your photos with us. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us for this final episode of Before the Gray and After. I wanna thank each and every one of you who participated. Um, it has been such a pleasure and I feel like I know you all. So thanks again and thank you guys for supporting these ladies and lifting them up and um, the beautiful comments. I know they appreciate it and I definitely appreciate it. You guys have an amazing night.